Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. Um, today, I'm just going to be doing a short video talking about how to activate secure boot on um, your B650 motherboard. Um, now, I will be showing you in this video how you do it on an ASRock B650 board, um, but it should be pretty similar on most brand sort of motherboards, um, especially if it's a modern motherboard as well. Um, so obviously the reason I'm making this video is because a lot of people wanted to try and play like the Battlefield 6 beta um, and obviously the game comes out in like two months or something but because of EA's new javelin anti-cheat system um, you have to have secure boot enabled on your PC to be able to play it otherwise when you launch it it will just it, you'll just get a pop-up that comes up saying you need secure boot enabled and the game won't launch. So I'm going to run you through quickly how to do it because you can you can do some damage in um, in your BIOS and end up causing your PC to just not boot correctly. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is going to close that down and we are going to restart the PC. <laughs> And obviously, if you don't know how to get into your BIOS, um, once this is restarted, you will see something pop up in the lower right corner. It will say hit delete, uh, hit delete to enter setup or UEFI setup or something like that. Um, yeah, there you go. Um, so you hit your delete key. And that will open your BIOS menu. Mine is obviously orange because I'm using a live mix on the board. But basically, what you want to do is go up here at the top to the security tab. Click on that. And then you'll have a menu here called secure boot. Click on that. Now obviously mine's active because I turned it on to play the beta. So if we then go at the top to the boot menu, you will see a thing here called CSM. Now on a modern motherboard like this you can leave this disabled. Um, this video is only explaining this really for sort of modern motherboards because um, I have heard secure boot on older boards can be a, a bit tricky to get working correctly so this is just for modern boards. Um, just want to point out as well if you don't have a B650 or or an ASRock board or whatever, you're probably best off trying to find on YouTube or Reddit like a guide for your motherboard. Um, so yeah, we go back to security, back to secure boot. Now if here under secure boot this says disabled, click it, click enabled. You might get a pop-up comes up um, saying to install like, like it says here, saying to install default secure boot keys. If you get the pop-up, then allow it to install the keys. If you don't get a pop-up like I didn't, just make sure this is enabled. Um, and then basically what you want to do is you want to hit exit up here. Save changes and exit and your PC will reboot then. Now what you want to do when it reboots is go back into the BIOS go back to your security tab back to secure boot and make sure here that it says active if you come back here after you've done everything and it says active then your secure boot is enabled then basically what you want to do is go back to exit at the top save the changes and exit um, like that, click yes and then wait for it to restart and obviously if it boots into windows perfectly fine then your secure boot is fine then and you will be able to play like the battlefield 6 beta now it's worth trying to get secure boot activated because a lot of game companies now are going to start using it for their anti-cheat systems i know call of duty's developers have already said they're going to update theirs to have secure boot um sort of needed to play the game um so yeah there was just a 
just a short video explaining how to activate Secure Boot on um, on a B650 motherboard. As I said, if you've got any other type of motherboard or probably any other brand other than ASRock, then you probably want to try and find another video for your specific motherboard um, because obviously they're not all the same, the BIOSes are all different, so on and so forth. So I'll leave this video here. Um, if it helped you out, let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.